Jill Valentine is finally in Resident Evil Resistance. And if you've watched a previous stream, I told you she's gonna be scary. Let me show you how scary Jill Valentine is. Let's talk about her. Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome to Resident Evil Resistance. This is the multiplayer game bundled with Resident Evil 3. And today, we're finally going to talk about Jill Valentine. She's finally in the game, and I'm very excited about it. What we're going to do is we're going to go over her skills. I'm going to tell you some things about her that you probably don't know and you probably wouldn't have known unless you had someone tell them to you. And then we're going to show you what she's like in a real match so you can kind of get an idea of how Jill feels when you play her. So let's start with Jill's fever skill. Her fever skill is really interesting. It's called Star's Armory, and it allows her to pick one of two weapons based on which variant you have, either her Samurai Edge or her Rocket Launcher. The Samurai Edge is a very strong pistol, has seven bullets in it, and then you're done. The Rocket Launcher, I'm assuming it's just a Rocket Launcher, <laughs> has a four-round Rocket Launcher that deals explosive damage in a wide area. The Samurai Edge is a two-minute cooldown, and the Rocket Launcher is a five-minute cooldown. Rocket Launcher's at rank 23, so then it's really up to you which one you feel is going to be more valuable. I feel like, personally, the Samurai Edge is going to be something that you can get more use out of. I think the Rocket Launcher is going to be fun, but I think the Samurai Edge is going to be better for quite a few reasons. A few things to know about the Samurai Edge. I don't think it can do critical hits. I was testing it, and I was testing it with some of the new equipment that's in the game. They did add new equipment with the Jill update. They did a few things. They added new equipment. They announced that Nikolai is going to be the new Mastermind. And they also went ahead and changed the cameras. The cameras now have increased health based on the area that you're in. So area one is what it was like pre-patch. Area two has more health than area one, and area three has more health than area two. So that's something to kind of help the math signs with camera bullying. But frankly, <laughs> considering Jill is basically a January if you want her to be, you can still stomp on cameras pretty hard. Another really important thing about the Samurai Edge that happened in one of my games was a gherkin, so a G Birkin, was trying to overkill one of my teammates. And I was like, you know what? Let's test it out. And I started shooting at him with the Samurai Edge. And six shots from the Samurai Edge caused him to drop my teammate. No one threw a grenade, no one kicked him, no one did anything. All I was doing was shooting. And it caused him to drop my teammate. And getting Gherkin to drop something is very, very hard without a flashbang or some sort of explosive. You can pour into him with as many bullets as you want, as much melee as you want. Typically, you're not going to get any luck there. But this worked, and it blew my mind. So something to keep in mind when you're inside your matches going against a net. Her personal skill is her dodge. A little bit to know about her dodge. So when you dodge, you can do a lot with it. You can dodge over traps. If there's a trap on the ground, you click dodge, you'll just go right over the top of it. Like the trap's not even there. You can dodge through some hook punches of Mr. X. And you can dodge away from Birkin if he's trying to grab at you. I guess same with Mr. X, too, if they're trying to do their pulverize or their overkill. If you dodge forward, you're going to get away from it in time, which is awesome. The big thing with the dodge is you just can't run straight into them because... <laughs> even though she does have some what seems like invincibility frames, she still has collision. So you can't just run straight into something thinking that you're going to go through it. And if you look at the two variants on the skill, there's rapid cooldown, which makes it so the cooldown's only five seconds. And then there's alpha team, which increases damage dealt and the chance of critical hits while activated. Now, in terms of the numbers on the critical hit chance, couldn't tell you. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to tell you a whole lot about critical hit chance, but it definitely increases. What I can tell you about the damage is that it's a 20% increase in damage, and it's only for five seconds. So that makes me wanna go rapid cooldown. The nice part about Alpha Team is you can activate it even when you don't need to dodge, and then you can still get a little bit of a bonus from damage, but since it's only five seconds, the only time I see that being particularly useful is if she has like a rocket launcher and she's firing it at a core or something. The five seconds is kind of a bummer when you consider Alpha Team because it makes your cooldown go up to 15 seconds. The dodge is pretty great, man. I think I'd rather take the five second dodge, especially if you're getting into it with a bioweapon. You can dodge back and forth on them and be really frustrating, waste a ton of their time, and you're not going to have that same freedom with Alpha Team. And now for Jill's first passive skill, and it's so good. <laughs> It's called B and E Specialist. Both variants of it are amazing. What's super unique about B and E Specialist is that it's only active if Jill's fever skill is completely charged up. 
So if you're in that 120 second cooldown, or heck, even in that five minute cooldown with Rocket Launcher, you're not benefiting from being an E-Specialist. Which, in my opinion, kind of pulls you away from the Rocket Launcher. Especially when you start looking at Delta Force, but let's focus on being an E-Specialist here. So the two variants are Breakaway and Counter Surveillance. Counter Surveillance increases damage to traps, increases damage to cameras. It's as good as Jan's skill her high caliber rounds towards cameras. Jill and Jan are on the same playing field in terms of camera damage. I went and I tested it. It's still five shots to an area one camera with a Matilda, with a quick draw. But that being said, again, she has to have her fever skill all the way charged up. Now, breakaway is a very interesting one. So what breakaway causes is if a zombie charges at you and tries to grab you and bite you from the front, not from the back, from the front, Jill can take a knife out and stab it <laughs> and push it off of her. So you save yourself damage, infection, and 15 seconds off the clock if you don't have a teammate to go and save you. So it can be a really, really, really nice skill if you're running against a mastermind that likes to load up doors. Like, let's say Annette. She loves to load up doors, right? Because she has all her zombies she spams. It can be really good against her, or it can also be really good against a Daniel that is grabbing at you. A no-knockback Daniel. You can still push off a no-knockback Daniel with breakaway here when you do that though your fever skill will no longer be all the way charged up it's going to get knocked back around 10 or 15 seconds i don't know the exact time but you'll see the fever skill go from charged up to almost all the way charged up when you use breakaway so you can't just keep breaking away through everything and i'm glad that exists otherwise people would cheese that pretty hard now to delta force this is where i feel like the samurai edge has a really really good talking point that the rocket launcher doesn't have I mean, we already know that B&E Specialist only benefits from when your fever skill is charged up. But Delta Force, the default on Delta Force is kind of dumb, in my opinion. <laughs> Prevents reticle spread when aiming, even when Jill is moving. So I'll show you this in the lab, but basically when she's aiming, your reticle will close in even if she's moving. And I didn't even realize that other survivors didn't do that, which goes to show for me at least how little of an impact it had when I was playing. And now with... Delta Force's other variation, Marksman, it's really interesting to me because it says increases damage dealt when the reticle is fully focused. Reason why I find that interesting is it already does that anyway for everyone. And it's a 50% damage boost. We tested this when we tested gut shots on the zombies in our live streams. A gut shot is 180 damage with the up. It goes up to 270 when it's focused in. So you get a 50% damage boost whenever there's something focused in, as long as it's not a camera. Cameras don't benefit from this, and so traps don't either. But creatures, 50% damage boost whenever your reticle's focused in. So if it's a skill of Jill's and they're making a big deal out of it to the point where it's a variation on one of her passives, I feel like it's gonna be even bigger, <laughs> which is gonna be really interesting with her samurai edge. It's gonna be really interesting with the lightning hawk. So, I would run, in my mind right now, I would run Marksman, I would run mm, Counter Surveillance, I would run Rapid Cooldown, and I would run Samurai Edge. Definitely play with the Rocket Launcher when you get it, because I'm sure it's going to be fun. But I'm thinking Samurai Edge Jill is the way to go. And as for her equipment, it's really up to you. Like I said, if you go ahead and you run full EMP, you're going to be doing the same exact things that Jan can do. So you basically have two Jans on your team if you have a Jan on your team, which is a nightmare and a half. On top of the fact that Jill can take care of herself a little bit better in a fight than Jan can. So now we're going to go off to the lab here, and I'm going to show you some really interesting things about Jill that you probably didn't even expect. So let's get to the lab. Sorry, but you know far too much about my work with William. I cannot let you leave here. Something you notice This is all your <laughs> fault. Why do they have to pay? Something you notice right away is that they do have voice lines specifically for Jill. Alex really loves Jill. She's really interested in her. There's a few voice lines that I've heard from Annette. One of them actually talks about the mansion from Resident Evil 1, which is really cool. Here's her dodge. <gasps> and you can see in the bottom left-hand <gasps> corner that little icon that is slowly Hi. losing charge. That's her damage boost. I can constantly go here because I have rapid uh -huh. cooldown in the lab here. But typically it's a 15 second cooldown and you're only getting five seconds of damage boost. So again, I would use rapid cooldown. Other things right away to know about the dodge. 
you can dodge to the side you can dodge Jenny. to the forward you can dodge <gasps> back you can dodge through a d field if you don't know what the d field is that is spencer's alt you just go whoop, nice right job. through it which is crazy and now to show you what i mean about her damage increase from the dodge here's a 270 right there and now i'm gonna dodge uh -uh. so i'm gonna get the damage boost and it says 47 that's because your crit chance goes up a lot if it's not critting it's gonna do 324 which again brings in that what 20 percent damage boost i told you about her samurai edge is g you cannot switch to your other weapons while you have it activated but if you want to cancel it out you can totally go ahead and just press g again but you can't use any of your other items on your quick bar now talking about her dodge you see a trap here so i was going to tell you whoop, right over the top of it doesn't even matter her samurai edge can two shot cameras in area one which is sick nasty now let's show you the breakaway variation we already showed you how much camera damage she can do which again just makes her exactly like jan if she's using the counter surveillance but now let's show the breakaway grab come on grab me come on do it they're so dumb sometimes grab me there we go see that f bam and now you see in the bottom right hand corner my cooldown on my fever skill has gone backwards a bit so i said about 15 seconds and you know like 15 to 20 seconds is what you're gonna lose yes. but it saves you 15 seconds on your time here. which is a really really big deal and then for her delta force skill see how you aim in like that and it closes in well something that jill does that's special is when she's walking it still does it and with every other survivor it'll just stay open when you're walking i don't think it's that big a deal like it could be good if you're backing up i guess and I'm, maybe if you're moving forward and pushing an objective but i really sincerely feel like marksman is going to be the way to go with that delta force skill now in terms of it never doing crit damage if your reticle's focused in you're always going to hit 1500 on the head well i lied yes. <laughs> i have everything i need to succeed here i guess i just lied to you i guess i can crit up to 3000 hmm. wow good thing we went to the lab i tried that shot about i don't know 40 times and i only got that one crit so I guess keep that in mind. I guess it can crit, but it doesn't do it very often. Part of me thinks it's the dodge combo. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I had tried many, 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 many times to get that crit to pop. Maybe this is something to keep in mind. This is why we go to the lab. If you combo up Alpha Team right. with Samurai Edge, that's how you're going to get those 3,000 damage hits. And who knows how good that could be if you use hollow point rounds. You know what? Let's test it. See if we can do this. 5,000 damage. Now, I need to stress again. I tried this shot so many times. I wasn't trying it with Alpha Team. But the Alpha Team greatly increases your crit chance. But man, 5,000 damage? And that's not even including Marksman at level 17. I would not be surprised, based on what I'm seeing here, if you're hitting 6,000 damage. Oh. <gasps> if you combo up alpha team so maybe you know what maybe it's something to consider this is why we go to the lab chat and now that we have our little newfound discovery here let's see how many shots we can get off in five seconds so power up dodge aim bam 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 so you can get five shots off but it's not destroyed. five fully focused shots which was what was getting us that really crazy damage Gonna need a so let's see how many fully focus shots we can get off so open back aim pop aim pop aim pop so you can get about three off so i mean if you hit three crits that's fifteen thousand damage which could be you know a pretty quick bio core melter so i don't know something to consider i guess <laughs> holy man and i don't even have all the different hollow point rounds on you could put another one on and we could have marksman so maybe she could do 6500 damage i don't know speaking of bio cores there's some other really interesting things that we've learned not only about jill but other characters such as tyrone and becca and it's about their swings now jill's a gun girl so you're not going to be in a melee situation with her too often but let's say you are take a look at her animations see how slow the sledgehammer is see how fast the bat is so we went and we did the map we tested it out on bio cores jill actually takes down a bio core faster with the bat she does about 650 a swing with the bat she does about 975 a swing with the sledgehammer but 
it took her around 15.3 seconds to take down a biocore by herself with the bat and about 16.7 seconds with the sledgehammer and what that means is that you don't need to worry about buying the sledgehammer you get the steel bat you basically already have her end game weapon might be a little bit different when it comes to finishers because i'm not sure but i feel like finishers have to do with how close you are with your next hit to hitting fatal damage on a zombie so maybe the sledgehammer is still better on finishers but in terms of biocore stuff and just damage over time the bat's actually better and it's cheaper and we also tested the repair kits. We're like, well, if you have to swing more, does that mean your repair kits are going to get used up more? No. The bat actually used up less repair kit. Not by a lot. It used about 1,900 durability. Or about 1,850 durability, I think, for the steel bat. And it used about 1,980 durability on the sledgehammer. So it's just a little bit more efficient, but either way, it goes faster, it's a little bit more efficient, and it costs way less. So if you're the type of person that usually would buy the steel bat and then buy the sledgehammer, don't worry about it. And this also, the reason why this matters and I'm talking about it now, this also applies to Tyrone and it also applies to Becca. So it's in this Jill video here, but it matters on other survivors as well. And the last thing I want to show you in the lab here is that Jill actually doesn't really use a knife. She has one, okay, but then watch this. <laughs> And she also kicks the ground instead of swiping at it. It does pretty much the same damage all of those kicks do. I didn't notice anything in terms of crowd control when she spins around. I figured there'd be some knockback or something. I didn't notice any if there is. I tried it out a few times and nothing ever happened. But it's just a fun little Jill thing. So we have a Jill match going on here. I'm going to be running EMP2, EMP1, and then Green Herb so I can auto heal. And I'm going to be running Rapid Cooldown, Breakaway, and Precision with Samurai Edge. Doing Rapid Cooldown so you can see me dodge more. And then we're going to doing Breakaway so you can see the Breakaway mechanic because I think that's pretty new. But I'm running EMP so I can still help out with Jan. But again, Jill is as strong as Jan is on the cameras if she's using counter surveillance, which is nuts. So let's see how we do here. Rank a level with Jill already because we spent all night playing her. I just want to... Oh, no. It's a baby and net. Well, this will be a really good example. Because we'll get to go against Gherkin. And oh, hopefully. I cannot let you and live. it should be pretty easy for me to the talk the whole time. I actually recorded Don't a match chat. The cavalry to come. We're on our own here. If you want me to post it where we won against a level one and net. By only walking backwards the entire time. Just to kind of like prove a point that the rank one and nets are dealing with a lot and that they don't get a lot of help at the early parts of the game it's really tough to be an early mastermind because you can't customize you can't do anything you just have to deal with what's given to you the default decks blow all that type of stuff so we tested it and sure enough i was able to win by walking backwards literally the entire time something else to know about masterminds by the way as we sit here and we talk about this update is that the matchmaking is so much better now? Oh my lord. It's like a godsend. It was so fast. I played some mastermind matches. And I was queuing up within like a minute and a half. Opposed to like the 15 minutes that I had before. Oh wow, I have all three pieces already. Okay, let's go, I guess. I'm almost kind of sad that we're going this fast because that means that we're not going to get umbrella credits all over the place. Interesting. Well, let's see if team's on board here. So the cameras here, you see how they go down? I don't have counter surveillance going right now. But the cameras in Area 1 perform how they did pre-patch. Area 2, they're going to have more health. Area 3, they're going to have even more health. So they did something to the cameras to give them more durability, which I'm glad. I really feel like there wasn't enough durability going on. I don't really know what Tyrone's doing over there! Come on, man! Get over here! Come on! Come here! By the way, if you haven't seen the skins already, they added a bunch of new skins in this update. A bunch of amazing weapon skins. I'm more excited about the weapon skins than I am the player skins. Granted, the player skins are amazing too. But there's just so many... Tyrone! Well, I guess we can just keep farming cameras here, Tyrone! Oh my god. Some people's kids, I swear. <laughs> Tyrone, get over here. I don't want him to be by himself. 
That's just how you set yourself up for a disaster. Man, get over here. What are you even doing? Not even picking up umbrella credits while you're out here. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, okay. Come on. Keep going. Gotta rain in the Tyrone sometimes. It brings me back to the Xbox beta days where it was always a dumb Tyrone. Even though Tyrone's so good. By the way, Sam's also really good. I take back what I said. I kind of want to make an Immortal Sam video because he's so good. Okay, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Take out the 10 seconds. Tyrone? Wait, who did we lose now? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Either way, we're going to do fine. I think we're going to do fine. I'm not expecting any major tricks up their sleeve. Um, let's see here. So, since I'm kind of working on cams here, I think I'm going to go buy ammo. I could go steal bad for later since we really only have Tyrone. I don't know what the girls are going to be doing a whole lot. You know what? No, I'm going to go full ammo here and just keep up on cams. Might buy Steel Bat later. But again, she's really good with Steel Bat. But I might really consider going ahead going Steel Bat later, especially if this Tyrone is going to be kind of a doofus. So we'll see. Let's go get the objective done here. Haven't really had much of a chance to dodge, but there will be those opportunities. You'll see it more when we get loaded up into a room or probably when Gherkin spawns. I'm assuming he's going to toss him out here pretty quick. I can show you right here. Whoop! I just walk right over it. Which is really, really helpful for getting into an area. I might get grabbed here. Very well. I haven't used my samurai edge yet because I'm trying to hold on to, in case I get grabbed from the front, I want to hold on to my fever skill. Very well. Take its key. I'm very confused about the state of my team right now. Time to stop you. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just get things done. It's no big deal. This is only oh, is he getting munched on over there? Yeah, you can deal with this. I'm going to keep him busy for a while. I'm just going to get stuff done. Dodging again to get over the trap. I've seen more and more people using our instant explosion Alex and also our time bomb preset. I think they did something to the time bomb preset. I wasn't getting as much time off as I usually was before. So I definitely think they made the time bomb preset a little less effective, but who knows? Maybe it was just a coincidence. So, we got two of these done so far. What do you think the third one is? Oh, almost walked right on top of that. My bad. <laughs> Jan walked right on top of it. Is it down over this way? I don't see it. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's up in this room. Maybe Tyrone found it. Right through the dog. Oh! I walked into a trap that time. But it does allow you to kind of just sneak through stuff a lot of the time. I, oh, okay, well. William, speaking of which, is it in here? Good. And then I, I want him to grab somebody and I want to test out my samurai edge. But I'm going to try to get this done. And again, I had it six bullets and someone was dropped. I want to see if I can do that again. I'm kind of optimistic that I'll be able to try that because I get a feeling that these guys aren't going to save each other. What's he doing? Oh, oh. Tried to use my dodge. Well, speaking of not saving each other, let's see if Tyrone comes and kicks me. I expected him to swing at me. He just went straight for the overkill. Yes. Yeah, no one's saving anybody. Okay. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to run straight at him again. Because <laughs> I want to see if I can get the samurai edge to help me out here. Come on. Where'd he go? Is he still just blumping around over here? Or did he cancel him out? Yeah, he must have left. Okay, we'll see him again. I could be wrong, but it seems like when you go to area 2 to area 3, the, the cooldown on any bioweapon seems really reduced. Uh-oh. I mean, we know that Gherkin has his skill, where if you cancel out early, you benefit. But I feel like they all get a little bit of a boost from area 2 to 3. I could be wrong. I really want to test out the samurai edge on him again. It could have been a fluke. The next area but if I can shoot him out of a grasp, that would be clutch. So I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run steel bat here because I think it's one of those matches where I might need to. <laughs> Sometimes you just get one of those matches, you know, where no one knows anything. And I just kind of got a weird feeling that might be what's happening. Sounds like somebody's getting beat up out there. F, and then I'm gonna buy some repair kits. I actually haven't gotten rid of my mup yet. Get rid of that. Well, let's do some work. 
Haven't had much of a chance to test out the dodge. Let's see here. Oh boy. Let's see if they can grab me for you here. Let's see if they do an actual match. Oh, do these guys grab? Do they swing? Do they do anything? Whoop! See? Dodge was very helpful there. I wouldn't have gotten away in time otherwise. Really weird match we got going on here. These rank one in that matches, man. You never know. Oh no, he's hitting me! So, you can't go get yourself out of a back grab. Spark shots are also really good against bio weapons, but I'm not gonna test that out. One of you has seen the light. Oh. Becca died. <laughs> oh! I didn't know that it works on dogs. Well, it seems if a dog jumps on you, you can get a dog off of you. Very nice. Okay, well, let's try to find our first area in here. Uh-oh. Oh, God, is everyone disconnecting? I think the whole game's broken. I think we're getting a DC. No! No more time, and so your end has come. DC. Getting his butt whooped a well too hard. Rip. So sadly our match ended, but I'm kind of okay with it because I think we talked about everything I wanted to talk about. And we also discovered some things and talked about some things in the match that I think were really good too, like the dog and other changes they had in the game. So I think I'm okay with where we're at with Jill. We stream every night and we're discovering things every night. On twitch.tv slash swingpoint, I'm going to be doing more builds. We're going to do stuff for Jill. I have a Dr. Tyrone I want to work on. I want to work on Immortal Sam. I want to do Demo Val. There's a lot of... Oh, yeah, and Sniper Becca. I have lots of builds that are incoming. So if you want to be a part of that, make sure you're subbed to the channel here. And again, we stream every night. Twitch.tv slash swingpoint. Links in the description at 10 p.m. Eastern. And we start a little bit early on YouTube. Then we go to Twitch. If you have any comments about Jill and you know anything about Jill that I don't know, please comment down below. Let the other people in the community know. Thank you so much for being a part of these videos. This has been so fun. I've been enjoying the crap out of this game. And now that they fixed up some things, we like the matchmaking is just so smooth now. Some of the bugs aren't there anymore. We learned a little bit more about like how they're balancing stuff with cameras. I'm really excited about the future of this game. And now we know Nikolai's coming too with Nemesis. So that's going to be awesome. Like I said, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video that we do around here.